I've heard that folks are frustrated, right? DEI is making things worth. Every, everyone's so sensitive. I can see some of that. But we also have to ask the question as to why, right? People get frustrated. People get more vocal. People get more up in arms to the degree where they've not been heard for significant periods of time. I'll give you a, 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 an example. We talk a lot of in business about we need to innovate and fail forward and learn from our mistakes. Well, if you're a black woman in corporate America and you have to be better than in order to get promoted, to move forward, you can't afford to make mistakes. You don't feel the room to make mistakes. Some of the things that we preach as standard business nomenclature don't truly apply to everyone. One person makes a mistake, Congratulations, John, man, that's phenomenal. Like, let's get that learning and try again. Evelyn makes a mistake. I knew we shouldn't have hired her. That exists in the workplace every day. So why are people so sensitive? Should be the question, not the excuse. When you ask a question or say, or make a statement, the tonality of that is very, very important. Why are people so sensitive? Versus why are people so sensitive? I wanna understand that. And until we seek to understand why people are triggered by certain behaviors, words, actions, we might wanna hold off on that level of judgment. It doesn't mean that everyone handles everything the appropriate way. There's some folks in the, in the work that I do that need to take themselves out of the equation, right? And they bring a lot of their personal perspective to every training that they do versus really educating on the foundation and fundamental. But then there are also those that really, they don't wanna see others succeed because they've had it pretty easy because when the competitive landscape isn't even and you're on the goodness side of that inequality, change feels like somebody's doing something to you, but really there's just been a rebalancing to something called fairness. Context matters. We're not gonna solve everything by watching one or two videos. What I want you to understand, what I hope that you understand, is that why are people so sensitive should be the question, not the statement. And then once we dig into the question, you're gonna become much more educated and empathetic. My friend John Samuels lost his vision while he was getting his master's degree at NC State. John is one of the professionals that I know and can call friend, but is a blind professional, a CEO, a startup executive. But his walk in light is different than mine. I now have more empathy for low vision and blind professionals because I know John. So then I don't ask the question of why should we have digital accessibility and better websites? Why should we have accessibility in the user experience in all of our digital assets? Because I know John, I want that to be the case so that millions of people can have the same online experience I do as a sighted person. Part of the reason we lack empathy is because the circle of folks we spend time with look like us, talk like us, have the same background. So I encourage you as you're learning and on the journey and moving from curious to committed in this space to expand the different types of people you spend time with. And just by naturally doing that, you'll develop more empathy for those of us that are a part of marginalized groups.